वेलकम बैक नाउ टाइम फॉर न्यूज फ्रॉम स्पोर्ट्स Former India cricketer and current director of National Cricket Academy Sandeep Patel paid a visit to the Goa Cricket Association's Academy at Porvari on Saturday. The main intentions behind this visit of Patel to Goa is to make sure the best facilities are available in the state to develop good players. He was very happy to see the facilities existing at the academy. Patel arrived in the state on Saturday afternoon along with NCA's bowling wing head Bharat Arun. As part of BCCI's plan, Patel is on a mission to identify 25 cricket academies across the country and check their facilities. On arriving at the GCA's academy in the evening, Patel had a close look at the amenities under the guidance of GCA President Dayanan Narvikar and Secretary Prasad Fatherpekar. While interacting with the media, Patel revealed that he was happy with the facilities at the academy in Goa. The basic basic idea of visit is uh, to see the facilities. check the facilities check the infrastructure and myself and uh, my colleague uh, arun we are here because we want to identify uh, the academies uh, all over india goa is not the only one but we have uh, total uh, the plan the dream which uh, bcci has is to identify 25 academies out of its 10 are functioning so our visit is to just check the facilities nca's job is to support NCA will not interfere in any of the state academies. NCA will provide the information, the know-how. They will provide the coaching, uh, you know, whatever advice uh, the state academies want. It's not only Goa. The priority is not only Goa. Priority is all 25 academies, like Mr. Arun explained, that they should work hand in hand. They should have a same program, and there's a uniformity uh, within the academies. as nca we are very very happy to see the infrastructure we are very happy to see the facility now we'll be more happy when the program starts you know the facility has been provided by goa cricket association someone has to make use of those facilities and who will make use of these facilities the, the goan uh, uh, boys all those who wants to be uh, you know uh, big cricketers uh, aspiring to be you know uh, uh, don the india colors the facilities are here and nca will support our sports reporter patterson fernandez with video journalist anil sanadi from porvorim and reporter from vasco surendra madkaikar dempo sports club coach cum secretary armando colaso has claimed that india head coach bob hutton's remarks about the club were unwarranted hutton had recently lashed out at dempo for not releasing mahesh gauli and samir naik for the ongoing india camp and demanded that the all india football federation should severely penalize the goan club I have with me the coach cum secretary of Dempo Sports Club Armando Colasso. So recently when he spoke to the India coach Bob Hotton in an exclusive chat about the non-release of players Mahesh Gauli and Sami Naik, he said that Dempo should be suspended from the I League and the AFF should penalize Dempo heavily. So so as, as a coach and a secretary how would you like to respond to that? I have a lot of respect for Bob Hotton. He's a great coach. He has uh, done wonders wherever he went. in india also there's a result for everybody to see but if he has passed those remarks the statements they are unwarranted you know this is a matter between the federation and and the club difference of opinions are there and it is for the club and the federation to sort it out i don't think he should uh, make such comments he should refrain he is an india coach and he should be a meditator and see that everything turns out to peacefully properly for the club as well as for the federation i'm a bit surprised that bob had chosen mahesh gauli and and Simon Ike for the Indian camp when they were really sick going through recuperation and they did not perform i don't think players are selected on on such merits players are selected for the india coaching camp are on performance merits how is the recuperating process of mahesh gauli and samin naik you see uh, they are well looked after by dr mahendra kutcharkar incidentally who is also the doctor of the india coaching uh, camp players uh, and our own physio venkatesh they're going through recuperation they are good, good, doing well he is looking after them and then they'll be assessed again after one month that is on 9 december after assessment they will join and then if, if they are fully fit if the doctor says okay they can join we will send them a sports reporter from panji noel de souza with video journalist ganesh hotkar 
Jammu and Kashmir have taken a strong grip on the ongoing under-19 Kuch Bihar cricket match against Goa at MCC ground in Madgaon. At the end of second day's play, JNK were 209 runs ahead with 9 wickets in hand in their second innings. Jammu and Kashmir had scored 264 runs in their first innings. Goa in their first turn with the bat were shockingly bowled out cheaply for 106 runs in 48.4 overs. Madhu Kamat was the top scorer for the home side with 25 runs. Sumiran Amonkar with 22, Captain Ganesh Raj Narvega 12 and Vaibhav Naik chipped in with 10 runs. Chamu and Kashmir bowlers performed with great discipline with Deepak Manas and Arsalam Gunduru taking 4 wickets each. At Stumps on Saturday, Chamu and Kashmir were 51 for the loss of 1 wicket in their second innings. Ali Kohli with 16 and Bashid Mohammed with 13 were at the crease. Our reporter from Margao, Ramesh Naik Raut. Let's look at the headlines once again before we end. John Fernandez's bail plea in the Russian case on Monday. Mickey tells government, don't protect accused. Russian rape case transferred to crime branch. Rape case to be registered only if medical report suggests rape. Son of IGP and Power Minister injured in a car accident, both survived horrifying accident with minor injuries. <laughs> Former India cricketer and current National Cricket Academy director Sandeep Patel happy with facilities at GCA's academy. And Dempo Sports Club coach come secretary Armando Colasso says Bob Hutton's remarks were unwarranted. And with this we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent Media. Goodbye.